Welcome back. Okay. So we kind of hit all the exponent properties. Again, you missed them from eighth grade. You skipped that. It's all right. You're catching on. You're all very bright. So we've seen and we've looked at the words of what they mean, but let's actually put them into practice and say, okay, what's actually happening? Am I at an angle? What's going on here? Let's try. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, we'll try that. Here we go. So if I've got something like 3 to the 4th, x to the negative 6th, y times 3 to the negative 5th, x to the 8th, y to the 2nd. So this is still multiplying like bases, except now we're adding in those negative exponents. So I'm going to get several different colors here to make this a little bit easier. Let's start with our like bases. So we've got our threes. We keep the base, we add the exponents. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. x, x, we keep the base, we add the exponents. Negative 6 plus 8 is positive 2. Wonderful. Y, y. But we have a problem. Everything needs an exponent. Everything has one. This y has a 1. We keep the base. We add the exponents. We get y to the third. This is not simplified. Okay? We have a negative exponent. When we have a negative exponent, your problem is never simplified. So we immediately make it a fraction. Remember, as soon as we see negative exponents, we should think, man, probably going to end up being a fraction. So now I keep my fraction. This needs to go into the denominator. If it's in the numerator, it goes to the denominator to become positive. Do I need to put the 1 as the exponent? Not anymore. You can if you want. It's not wrong. And everything that has a positive exponent stays. Mr. H, what happened to this 1? Well, this 1 is still down there, but it's 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3, which is why it simplifies down to here. Okay? So relatively easy. Let's go with 3 to the negative 1, x squared, y times negative 2 divided by x to the fourth, y to the third. Okay, this is a little bit trickier. This is more of what you're going to see as some of your harder problems. So first step, we have power to a power. We're going to distribute this exponent. I should probably explain this. We're going to distribute this exponent to all of the exponents that are in there. We don't have an exponent on the y, therefore we need to make that an exponent of 1. So it stays as a fraction. We're only distributing to the parentheses, just like we would normally. So now I have 3 to the, oh, three to the positive 2, x to the negative 4, y to the positive 2, oh, negative 2, x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. Okay, so we've got a fraction. Everything that has a positive exponent stays. 3 squared stays. x to the 4th stays, y to the 3rd stays. Well, this negative 4 goes to the denominator, becomes positive. The y to the negative 2 goes to the denominator, becomes positive. Okay, so 3 squared stays. Like bases. Add the exponents. Like bases. Add the exponents. Can I simplify this to 9 divided by x to the 8th, y to the 5th? Yes. But right now I want you focusing on knowing how to do combining of the exponents. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say we've got 3 to the 4th, y to the negative 2, x to the 8th, divided by 3 to the 5th, y to the negative 6, x to the 4th. Okay, so a little bit trickier, not that much, but a little bit. It's already a fraction. We've already got negative exponents, so let's see what we have to do. Like bases... Where is my bigger base? So this is the division of exponents. My bigger base is in the denominator. And when I say the bigger base, the threes are the same, the bigger exponents in the denominator. So I keep the base down there, and then we subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1, so I'm going to put 3 to the first for right now. So I've got, is that a y? I guess that was. So y to the negative 2, so this is done, this is done. y to the negative 2, I don't want it, goes to the denominator x to the 8th stays, it's positive. y to the negative 6th goes to the top. x to the 4th stays. Okay. So now we're looking at the same basis. So 3 is the only thing that's so far staying. x, x. 
the larger exponents in the numerator, so the x stays in the numerator. 8 minus 4 is 4. y, larger ones in the numerator, 6 minus 2 is 4. So let's take a look at some of the ones on your worksheet that you'll have. Let's take a look on number 26. So I've got 2, x to the 4th, y to the negative 4th, z to the negative 3rd. And I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I want to kind of teach you one other thing. I'm going to make that x, 8x squared, y to the negative 3, z is the 4th. Okay, here we go. Let's get some room. As long as you break it down into small sections, you should be fine. Everything has an exponent, including the 2 and the 8. 2 is positive, it stays. x is positive, it stays. y is negative, so it goes to the denominator. z is negative, it goes to the denominator. So I'm done with my numerator. Positive, stays. Positive, stays. Negative, numerator, Positive stays. So I've now done the numerator and denominator. A good way to check is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight terms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight terms. Okay, so we're there. So now let's start to simplify. I'm going to look at just two divided by eight. Those are the coefficients that we can still divide. So put in your calculator two divided by eight, you should get 25 hundredths. We don't want that, we want the fraction. It's 1 fourth. So 2 divided by 8 simplifies to 1 fourth. Okay? Now I'm looking at my x's. Numerator, denominator. So that means I look for my larger exponent, which is the numerator, and I subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. Y's. Numerator, denominator. Larger y's in the denominator. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then the z's are both in the denominator. When they're right next to each other, that's really multiplication. So that's z times to the third times z to the fourth. We keep the base. We add the exponents. And that gives me the seventh. Now, is this wrong? Absolutely not. I would simplify it down to x squared, because I have one x squared, which is just x squared, 4y, z to the seventh. I don't personally put the ones with the bases. So, Really, this is about trying to get those steps one after another. Last one that we're going to do, let's do number 30. So we have 3x to the third, y to the negative 1, z to the negative 1, divided by x to the negative 4, y to the 0, z to the 0. Okay, love this one because it's easy. Okay, here we go. 3 is not negative, so it stays because it has an exponent of 1 x to the third stays, y to the negative one goes down and becomes positive, z to the negative one goes down and becomes positive, x to the negative four goes to the top and becomes positive, y to the zero is one, z to the zero is one, we don't need them. These both become one, which is times one. Anything times one is itself, that's why they're gone. So now I look at this, okay, I've got three, like bases, I keep the x's, three plus four is seven, well, there's a Y, there's a Z. And we're done. We will work on these again on Thursday and Friday. And then you will have a mini quiz on exponents. Let me know if you guys have any questions.